Hey, what's up, guys? Fallen Greg on here, back some Final Fantasy 7. Let me load my file here. So, uh, we just finished one of the Fort Condor missions, and now I have to make the journey back to the Gold Saucer. So, um, I'm gonna go ahead and do you guys a favor and cut that part out, since that'll take me a little while. And, uh, one thing that we didn't do in the Gold Saucer, which is perhaps the most important thing to do there, is the Battle Square. So I think I'm going to spend this video doing one of those to show people who don't know what it's about, what it's about, and what you can get from it. So, uh, yeah, I'll see you guys there. Alright guys, so here we are at the Battle Square. Um, a couple quick notes before we start. My Cloud is level 29. Um, I'm going to be using him. Here's what he has equipped, the Hard Edge, Silver Armlet, and Sprint Shoes. I'll explain how to get the Sprint Shoes in a second because I know you guys probably don't have them. <clears throat> um, as for Materia, we've got the Chocomog and Elemental still equipped, Enemy Skill, Long Range, Steel, uh, which I don't need for this, but I mean there's really nothing else that would be really helpful to put there. Uh, same thing with Rom, I'm not going to use it, but it's just there, and then all on fire. <clears throat> um, the way that you get the sprint shoes is from this lady right here. If you beat eight consecutive battles, which is the max in the battle square, then you can talk to her and she'll get them to you for free. I already did that, but anyway, let's go up here and do some battling. So, <clears throat> this is where you buy the prizes once you have enough points. Um, there's some pretty nice stuff in there. I guess I can't even view it at 5 0, but uh, there's some nice stuff in there. The best thing in there is the championship belt, which brings up a lot of your stats. Um, ideally, you want to get three of those. Not right now, probably, because GP is hard to come by, and it costs 10 GP to get into the battle alone. Well, I mean, you know, they're not hard to come by, but it's tedious getting it at this point until later. <clears throat> anyway, um, I'm going to go ahead and say let's do it. My cloud will participate. So she says that we have to go in eight battles, blah, blah, blah. So after every battle you get a handicap, the worse the handicap, the more battle points you get. So you actually want to get worse, um, handicaps. Anyway, <clears throat> the battles start out really easy, so you can go ahead and probably just attack them. So as you can see, those sprint shoes are really going to help me out. I think the... Th you know what, the three things that help out the most, and I'll take a break here to mention them, is one, the sprint shoes, that's going to help me out immensely. Two is the enemy skill, thanks to enemy skills like Match or Magic, White Wind, um, occasionally Big Guard and Beta, but those cost a lot of MP, so I typically avoid them. Um, and then the third thing are <clears throat> two items, which I forgot to explain how to get, but you can get them. Um, one is the left arm, which I actually did mention a while ago. You can steal from you can steal them from the bombs on the bridge, just um, connected to Coral Town. And those do a lot of damage to all the enemies on the screen, so those help. Another one is uh, smoke bombs, which you get from an enemy in June, and it's kind of hard to explain where they are. But uh, you can get them from an enemy there, and what those do is if you use them it lets you escape the battle with all the BPs uh, you've gotten, and you get to keep them. So that's for tight situations, I don't know if I'll use it or not, we'll see. But anyway, <clears throat> so this is how this works. Um, you know, off course obviously means of course that you screw that up, but that continues the battle, so that starts a slot machine, you stop it, and you get a handicap for me, that broke my accessory. Uh, which means now my haste isn't working, which does kind of suck, but I can also give myself haste if I use big guard on myself. Um, I might do that, it depends on if I get my MP halved within the next couple of rounds. So these guys take more than one hit to kill, so I'm going to go ahead and use match or magic, that might kill them all. Um, match or magic again is great to use, it's really cheap as far as MP goes, and it does a lot of damage to all the enemies, so... That's pretty cool. Um, the worst uh, handicaps you can get, thus the highest multipliers for your BP, are if Materia breaks. So, obviously you can't just choose, but if your Materia does break, like it just happened to me, I'm going to get more BP. So that's always nice. <clears throat> I'm not sure what the BP multiplier is on uh, 
what's it called, uh, HP and MP being halved, but I, but I assume it's pretty high, so if that happens, then you, you'll probably get a lot of BP, but it really does suck when that happens. Um, it does suck, yeah, I just got cured. That sucks, I don't think that does anything for BP, so that might as well have just been a wasted match. Alright, so the battles are going to start getting a little bit harder. I don't even know if Matcha Magic is going to kill all these guys in one hit, but hopefully it does. Alright, we're still doing good. <clears throat> Level down, um, I'm sure that does some good BP stuff. Probably not great, but better than being cured or getting a lucky 7. So again, like I mentioned in the video where I got White Wind, it heals you forever for however much HP you have, so ideally you want to use it when you get down to about half HP. It also cures status ailments, so if you get uh, like poisoned or anything like that from the slot machine, it's good to use that. Oh man, I'm getting drained of my levels here. But that should be fine, considering I don't think it affects how much damage Match or Magic does, and that's mainly what I use anyway. You can also use enemy skills like Aqua Lung, but that I think that costs one MP less than Beta. So I mean, again, you're gonna drain your MP real fast if you start doing that. Even two Match or Magics is much less than it costs to use Beta or Aqua Lung, and that usually kills anything in here. All right, I'm hoping I can break my green here. That would be nice. All right. That should give me some good BP stuff. If he poisons me, I'll go ahead and use White Wind. Yeah. So White Wind costs quite a bit of MP as well, but it's worth it. I mean, it heals you for a bunch, and it gets rid of that status ailment thing. It's not going to heal me for a huge amount since he just hit me with that again, but I'll be back up to about three quarters. And not poisoned anymore, so that's always nice. I'm not sure that this is going to kill them. Um, I'm going to go ahead and just attack them now. They shouldn't die. Kind of sucks that he's... Yeah, he poisoned me. <clears throat> Well, uh, that didn't go as planned. Yeah, I'm gonna use White Wind one more time. I'm sure I can afford it. I think I'm getting towards the end here. I really wish he hadn't hit me with that Poison Breath again. It does a lot of damage. Yeah, I'm not gonna heal myself very well. Alright, I kinda just wanna be done with these guys, so I'm gonna try and kill them and then heal after this round. That Poison Breath is just horrible. That's apparently got like a 100% chance of poisoning you. It should kill him. No, no it did not. It didn't even kill the one that I had weakened. So I'm gonna go ahead and use a high potion on myself before I die. Oh, oh goodness, I thought I died. I seriously want these guys to die now. Knowing my luck, I'll probably get like turned into a toad here. Oh, nope, that was the last battle. Alright guys, so I don't think I got a lot of battle points there. Um, a good amount to get from one is like nine to 10,000. That's, that's a decent amount. Uh, so actually, there you go, I almost got 10,000, so <clears throat> that's not bad. Anyway guys, that's where I'll end this video. I just wanted to demonstrate how the battle square works. Um, I'll show the prizes real quick now that I can look at them. 
So the first page is basically just garbage. Uh, the second page has a couple of things that are nice. The championship belt's nice, plus there's some nice material here that you can get. Anyway, I'm going to do a couple more battles after I end this video. You hopefully get that championship belt for at least one of my characters. But anyway, thanks for tuning in. Make sure you join me next time and we're going to be finally moving on with the storyline. But until then, this is Fallen Dragon, signing out.